on something that will hurt them what if they eat that stress that it it wants to drain me ah, God, it hurts. <laughs> i could do it with two. Oh my god <laughs> i don't want to call it a mistake because giving birth to a child is not a mistake i will not call my children a mistake but what english will i use to describe this All I can say, it is well. Oh my God, it's not easy. Ah. It's not easy being a mother of two. Oh. First of all, my friends, shall I even know my friends? She has noticed that in my past videos, I've been looking so stressed out so tattered i don't even take care of my appearances she knows that i am stressed as so she encouraged me that i should be dressing up a little bit at least look more even if she knows that i'm stressed out that i don't have time for that and i need to create content truly truly i don't have time when i think of earrings or to rub lipstick or to even tie maybe wear wig or oh my god i lose strength to create content because it has not been easy. I would just tell myself, the time I used to wear one pair of earrings, I will use it to rest. If I cannot create the content like that, let me leave it. Um, let me first of all dress myself up. Let me wear this piece of earring if it will elevate my <laughs> appearance. <laughs> let me see if it will elevate my appearance. Me, I cannot wear wig. Let me tie this. This a tie first. This calf. Should I do it like this? No. I should do it like this. Okay. I should do it like this. Maybe it elevates my appearance a little bit. No, I don't need to do it now. First. And then you rub a little lipstick. <laughs> Guys, welcome to my channel. This is PC Charles TV. You can call me PC Chai. Okay, in this video, have you wanted to do this video? Because. <laughs> I want to tell you guys my experience as a mother of two on that two. When I gave birth to my first child, people were like, give birth, give birth to all your children at once so that you'll be free from 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 childbirth at the later stage of your life. You'll not be thinking of delivery and all those things. As I've given birth, now don't wait again, give birth again. <laughs> they did not tell me the consequences it will come with it. Myself now, after I gave birth the first one, despite labor being hard, at least even during the taking care of the, since it's only one child, taking care of it was a bit reasonable. I thought <laughs> I could do it with two. Oh my god, <laughs> I don't want to call it a mistake because giving birth to a child is not a mistake. I will not call my children a mistake, but. What English will I use to describe this? I'm frustrated. I'm nearly depressed. If I'm not even depressed, I'm just holding on to a thin thread. That thin thread is this children will soon grow up because I'm nearly losing it. You can even see my eyes. <laughs> I've not been able to sleep well for the past few months now. Because you do know why? <laughs> okay. I have a two-year-old. My first son is two years and four months. My second child is nine months. If both of them is not asleep at once, I cannot sleep. I kid you not. Because if the first son is sleeping, the second one will be awake and you'll be disturbing me. Do you get? If the second one is sleeping, the first one will be, you'll be disturbing me. I cannot go sleep unless the both of them is at sleep. 
you can see i'm doing video but my nine month old is disturbing me i cannot do this video in peace <laughs> unless both of them is at sleep that's when i can sleep and tell me when that is possible only at night because during the day it's hard for both of them to be at sleep at once as i was saying only at night that's when i i can get both of them to be at sleep and you know babies they cannot sleep throughout the night they have to wake up they will wake up maybe they have to wake up they, they will wake up like two to three times so just imagine i wake up two to three times in the night to breastfeed my nine months old that is i've not been able to sleep well at night then during the day i wake up by six to take care of my two years old to um take care of him arrange his things for school and all those things i take him to school myself i come back i also take care of my nine months old do house chores cook for my husband before i will do all those things how many hours do i have to rest till my first son comes back from school and i will start that process again and you know how toddlers behave you cannot have one peace of mind if they are awake because they are destroying one thing to another destroying one thing to another i don't have rest that's number one number two i don't have freedom to go to anywhere i want to without thinking of my babies when i was with only one i don't want to talk about my single life before i gave birth let me even compare being a, a, a mother of one and a mother of two when i was a mother of one when i only had my first son i could go out at least to some places i could carry only him but now when i think of i will have to carry two children to where i want to go to i will give up and it's really making me feel bad I, i'm always at home two for seven because why I cannot carry two children to anywhere I'm going to. So instead of me to stress myself out, I will stay at home. So me staying at home is depressing. And I know I need to go out, visit places for me to at least relax. Do you get what I'm saying? That fact that I cannot go out or I cannot do things without thinking of my children, without being selfish, even if I want to be selfish, I cannot be selfish. I cannot be selfish. Number three. I, I cannot dress the way I used to dress anymore. I cannot dress. Dressing has become tiring for me. As in my past three to four videos, I've been looking so ordinary. I don't even care about the clothes I wear. Even the video, the, the last video that I posted, that I presented my husband, a shoe worth of 200k i was supposed to dress up but the main thought of putting a wig on wearing earrings rubbing lipstick changing my clothes i said i told myself it's better for me to just give him the shoe than doing video but i still wanted to do great content i told myself anything i want to create i want to do it let me do it like that i will post the video like that i will post the video like that see like dressing has become irritating to me because it, not that i cannot dress so but the method that if i finish dressing up my children will, will, will make me look unkept at the end of the day it makes me go crazy like what's not the essence of dressing up if at the end of the day before i will get to where i'm going to i'm already looking unkept either my nine months old have puked, um, puked on my body or my 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 two years old is just doing something that is making me want to run mad so 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 why bother and me i'm a person that i don't like stress so after finish so me i don't like stress then after finish making an effort stressing myself to look good between 30 minutes or so it will not get ruined so what's the essence of me stressing myself so i don't even stress myself so because of that anything dressing making up wearing clothes and all those things it has become irritating
fitting to me. So that's why it's even do for to quote context to dress up. It's tiring. It's tiring. But I need to create content. I just told myself in the past videos I made that let me just do it so that I can keep my YouTube algorithm moving. See, one thing I tell myself, I've been telling myself to keep myself going, I've been using to encourage myself is this face will pass. This face will pass. But people, they will not tell you. They will just tell you, give bets. They will give bets. Labor and labor. Labor with this thing. It's just one day. It is not just one day. Oh. <laughs> this process, it's more than I'm not I'm not under underestimating labor pain. But this process, <laughs> it's on par with labor pain because it's continue. It's 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 it will continue for life. It will continue for life. Only that it gets to reduce because as your children go up, they get to know their left and right and they get to listen to instruction more. So it will get lesser. The stress will be lesser for you because they understand things. Do you get? <sighs> number four. Is it number four, number three? But the next one, next point. It's the constant worrying. When when your your, your children are not feeling well, you'll be worried. That constant fear, that constant beeping, something that will hurt them. What if they eat? That stress, that... It wants to drain me. Ah, God. That's, that, 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 that mental stress out. If you don't see them, you'll be wondering, Jesus, where are these children? Where did they go to? You'll be thinking, hey, I hope you've not eaten anything. If not this. You'll be stressed out. Thinking, thinking of another person is stressful. Now I know what my, our mother's face or are still facing. When your children are sick, you will mentally drained because you don't want anything bad or severe to happen to them. That made thinking already. It's mentally exhausting. It's mentally... Imagine you are thinking for one. You know how stressful it is. You now start thinking for two. And people that have more than two. It's, it's exhausting. It's... This... Especially this mother of two on that two when you have to take care, take care of two babies because my first son is a baby he, he has not grown up because he cannot even pronounce one word i'm still taking care of another baby so both of them they don't understand what they are doing that's what, see they tell you when doctors tell you wait until your first or some people tell you wait until your first child gets two years before you plan for another child they not tell you the reason though. Maybe they think is okay. The only reason they will tell you is they want your body to heal. Apart from that, apart from your body healing, at least your first child have started knowing his left or his right. I've started listening to instruction. So before you give birth to your second child, just imagine when you start planning for pregnancy or you get pregnant when your first child is two years, then nine months. For the second for the second pregnancy to get to full term that's your child is almost three years and a three-year-old baby have started listening to instruction so if you give birth there will not be more stress taking care of the two of the children because your first child when you tell him live there you 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 will know he can hear you he will be able to live there so apart from your body being ready your child alone is grown up already to listen to instruction Omo. It has not been easy. Sometimes, like, <laughs> sometimes I cry. Let me know, let me know. From exhaustion. Not that my husband is not trying, but <laughs> the man in a children, in children's life compared to a woman is different. That's just it. My husband has to go to work. I'm mostly the one at home. Since I have a breastfeeding, I'm breastfeeding. I'm not, I'm, I'm not seeing a baby. Have to be at home so sometimes i i'll, I'll just share one or two tears from my what i just what i used to console myself and what i want you as a two on that two mother to console yourself is this face will pass this face will pass may nobody want you pregnancy childbirth that one is a, is a phase one but taking care of a baby it's phase two and that's where the real work starts from and I have seen it. Some, when, 
before I started giving birth, if I see mothers, some mothers dressing tattered, not taking care of herself, I'll be like, and I'm born, you born, no, it's a happen. Na mad, na mad, mad woman, you become. Why you be like this? Oh, more as I enter one and see, now I know, say, na him. Is now I know the reason why they do like that. Is why I know the reason why once a woman give birth or give give birth to children, not even a child. A child if if you have one child, now child's play, man, it's child's play. Have more than one, just have two. You will know that it's work. Especially if you are in that those children's life. Especially if you are the one taking care of them, you don't have any help. Especially if you don't have any help, it's work. I'm talking from experience. This is what I'm clearly experiencing. It's work. It's work. It's only taking the grace of God to keep me. It's it, it's to keep me here. It's only the grace of God that. I am still holding on, but sometimes I'll be like, should I run away? But if I run away, who will take care of my children? And I cannot trust anyone with my children. I cannot. I have that PSD, I'll be PTSD. PTSD. I cannot. With all these stories I'm hearing outside, I cannot. So it, it's a line between running away and God, please help me. <laughs> god please help me see it's not easy as many out there also facing the same issue with me god will put us through god will put us through it has not been easy i know it's not easy for you that's your mother of two on that two god will see us through ah, thank you guys for listening to this little at bust of mine Please, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, kindly hit the notification bell so you'll be the first one to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you. Bye.